In this video, I'm gonna share with you why you should stop doing cardio, also one of my favorite Trader Joe's picks, and lastly, what did I eat on Sunday? Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to The Big Green Chair. My name is Ashley, fellow food lover and indulgent expert. My channel, The Big Green Chair, helps viewers like you learn how to lose weight, enjoy food, and find a happy and balanced existence. If you like what you're hearing, make sure to hit that subscribe now button and the little bell to get your weekly notifications so you don't miss out on any content. All right, let's get started. So my weight loss tip is to stop doing cardio. It might sound counterproductive because I think it's the way that most people feel like, oh, if I just do a ton of cardio, I can burn all these calories and I'm gonna be thin. However, as I mentioned in some previous episodes, increasing your muscle mass increases your resting metabolism and allows you to burn more calories over the length of time, including when you're just hanging out on the TV, watching a little Netflix. So stop doing cardio is one of the things that I stopped doing because really, it makes me really hungry. <laughs> when I do lots of cardio, all I wanna do is eat. But when I strength train, I find that I don't get as hungry and I also get that benefit of increasing the muscle mass, which increases my resting metabolism. So my tip really is let's find ways to increase that muscle mass. One of the ways that I do that is using what's called Tabata. So Tabata is a method where you do an exercise for 20 seconds, then you give yourself a 10 second rest, you repeat the exercise for 20 seconds, give yourself another 10 second rest, and you do that for four minutes. So this is another really great hack that you can use when you don't have a lot of time as well. But when it comes to strength training, start with stuff that you like. So when I build a program, I'll build it Tabata style. And so I'll basically list out several different types of exercises I wanna complete. And then I do each one of them for four minutes. So for instance, it might be squats. So I do squats for 20 seconds, I take a rest, I repeat, I do that for four minutes. Then the next set, I might do reverse lunges. Maybe I do them alternating, maybe I just do them with one, one leg. And then after that four minutes is done, I move on to the next exercise. So you can really build your strength routine, one, with things that you like, because nobody really wants to do stuff that they don't like. And the more you get into it, you'll find new things that you like. But also because then you can actually control the time as well. So it's a really great time keeper to have a Tabata type style workout because it basically fits into your day wherever you want. If you're in between Zoom meetings and you only have 10 minutes, do two Tabata sets. Uh, if you get 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, all that starts to add up. So again, building that strength routine is really important and Tabata is a way that you can do it. So I will put some ideas on different types of strength exercises in the description box below. So you can check out different ways that you can incorporate different strength exercises into your routine. I'll also include the Tabata timer that I use. It's super easy, it's a free download, and it keeps track of that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So I'd love to hear what exercises you guys are doing Tabata style, so make sure you let me know in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing what you guys are up to. Okay, so it's time to reveal one of my favorite Trader Joe's items. This is something I just can't live without, and I am sure that you cannot live without either. Dun, da, da, da. The Trader Joe's Chicken Cilantro Mini Wontons. These things are incredible because they are super versatile and low in calories. So four of these bad boys is only 50 calories with a half a gram of fat, eight net carbs, and three grams of protein. And if you're doing Weight Watchers on the Blue program, they're only one point. So I love these because one, I can keep them in the freezer so they have a long shelf life. If somebody pops over, I can steam them or fry them real quick for a appetizer. But my favorite quick go-to meal is egg drop wonton. So what I do is I heat up some chicken broth 
And then I scramble a couple eggs in a little bowl on the side. And then when the chicken broth gets nice and hot and comes up to a boil, I take my whisk and I whisk it around so it makes a nice little whirlpool. I dump that uh, scrambled egg in and then I drop in my mini wontons and then, I don't know, three minutes later, you have a full meal. So it's only one point, again, on Weight Watchers for the whole soup because eggs are zero and the chicken broth that I use is zero. And so the only bad boys that I'm counting are these and I can eat seven of them for two points. I mean, gosh, for 100 calories, you get eight of these. I'm just telling you, they're delicious. They actually have flavor. Again, they're easy, go-to, you can keep them in your freezer, but if you haven't tried these, get them, and it's super easy, super delicious, and you definitely should buy a couple bags. <laughs> Let me know how you guys are using your wontons, or maybe you have another favorite Trader Joe's item. Let me know in the description box below. I would love to hear what you guys are getting from Trader Joe's. Congratulations, you have made it to the burning question of the week, which is, what did I eat on Sunday? So you guys know Sundays are the day that I indulge. So the whole week I work hard, I try to make good decisions, all to lead up to the one day that I get to indulge in whatever I want. It's the way that I reward myself, I also keep myself in balance, and I get a little exercise. I like to walk to where I can cheat, so being that I'm in Nashville right now, I am walking everywhere I can to get some good food on Sunday. So where did I go this Sunday? I went to Martin's Barbecue. If you haven't been to Martin's Barbecue, you are definitely missing out. Nashville has lots of barbecue spots, but I think that Martin's is the top dog in the area. They have really great food, really great barbecue and they've been doing this for 25 years. So they definitely are the whole hog masters and have incredible barbecue. I have a few of my favorite standouts that I order every time, even if I'm by myself. I'm pretty sure that they think I'm ordering for like a family of four when I go in there because I just have to have a little bit of everything and sometimes I have a lot of bit of everything. So one of the things that I always order is the bologna sandwich. So this thing, it sounds maybe kind of weird for a barbecue joint, but they are smoking the bologna. Obviously everything's made from scratch and it's this beautiful hockey puck from heaven that sits on this bun and you have to order it Pat's way. So Pat Martin, you gotta get it his way, which is yellow mustard, white onion and pickle. And let me tell you, this is a rich, delicious smoked sandwich that you definitely don't wanna miss. So even if you just order it as an appetizer, you have to try it. It's definitely one of my favorites and I think about it, I dream about it, uh, my mouth waters when I think about it and I just had to go get it. So definitely try the uh, bologna sandwich when you go to Martin's. My other favorite thing to get is the smoked wings. I mean, it sounds kind of simple, but they do such a great job and the smoked wings are just delectable. I like it with the dry rub and I definitely can put a few of those bad boys down. They're definitely worth getting the smoked wings. It's easy to share and something that's definitely worth the calories. And then lastly, which is what I think is my favorite part of Martin's in, the, in comparison to every other barbecue place in Nashville is their brisket. Man, their brisket is delicious. And I always ask for the wet ends, which is basically means that there's more marbleized fat in those pieces. So when you eat them, they like melt in your mouth. You get that like nice kind of fatty, salty, meaty bite, and it's just delicious. They get a great char on it, and man, it is a standout for sure. So if you haven't made it to Nashville, come on down, try some Martin's barbecue. But man, if you're here and you haven't had Martin's, you gotta get there right away. So I would love to hear if you guys have been there or not, what your favorite menu items are, or if you have a favorite barbecue joint by you, tell me about it. I love to eat, I love to travel. I know during COVID it's a little bit different, but hey, let's get a list going. So let me know what your favorite barbecue spot is. I can't wait to see where you guys are eating. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And remember, each Wednesday I'll post a new video. So make sure to hit that subscribe now button and the little bell to get your weekly notifications. If you like this video and know somebody that might like it too, share it. 
We like to share the video and of course share the love. If you like this video, you'll probably like my upcoming videos with more weight loss tips, fitness tips, fitness hacks, recipes, must have pantry items, and of course, my weekly indulgences. So make sure to stay tuned for the upcoming content. And if you want an inside look at my weekly indulgences, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Pochica to get the inside scoop. Lastly, thank you for taking this journey with me, this trip we call life. It's all about balance and I'm here to help you find it. So from the big green chair, this is Ashley. Bye for now.